What's up guys, welcome back, it's Albert Knight here, your Tekken Games Crusader. We have another unboxing, this is for an add-on to a previous product that we have covered for the Nexigo headset and controller charging stand for the Quest 2. So, what this does is this, remember the issue that I had with it not being able to support a elite style or support type of strap that has the extension on the back well this makes it to where you don't just have this cradle on top but an extension to hold the band on the back so as you can see this is all that's on the box grab our trusty never rusty radio shack micro driver Go ahead and open the box here so that we can see what's included in it. It's sad whenever the box tab holds more than the box durability. Alright, so we got two things in the box here. First off, we have an extension cable that goes from the back of the dock up to the cradle but this is going to go to the rear to where you can plug in your head strap your battery head strap so second we have this extension piece no instructions pretty self-explanatory so you can see here you have a cradle that your headset is going to sit in let's go ahead and get this open again Just like a lift. The reason I haven't made use of this is because I've not been using a halo strap for a long time. So, just put it back in the box and I waited. Contacted the manufacturer and gave them the specs and everything of link to my coverage for the product so that they could be able to see what the issue was. And then create something to rectify it, which they have done. May as well be a, an unboxing for this product again, but I don't like to rehash old content, so <laughs> we're just taking everything back out. Nothing else in here. That's it. By the way, guys, if you want this, it is on its own around $80, which is a little cheaper than the Anker Dock. All right. So, if you recall, the first thing about this that was a slight issue is if you're using most grips, you can't fit them very easily in these cradles. I would have loved to have seen a side grip or a side connection or even wireless charging style of grips uh, covers that even work maybe with like companies Kiwi designs all they'd have to do is literally just replace this big fat piece with 
just a piece that covers over and has pogo pins on it. So let's go ahead and build this again. These are just uh, the same kind of batteries as you already would get with the Anker charge stock or the replacement stuff. So, so charge adapter. Yes, I'm taking a bit to get all of this opened again, but hopefully you guys appreciate that we got to, those that haven't seen the original video, So as you can see on here, you don't do it like that, it doesn't appear. you have these on here and these are the same size Though it may just work like that. No, it doesn't. One moment, guys. Okay, guys. I'm back. Sorry about that. had a phone call. And I went ahead and I, I took this off. So, if you have this go on accidentally. And you need to get it out. You just poke through here. To loosen these and once those are loosened on each side slide it back out the front so the way this goes is this goes on first it will lock in once that's locked in then you slide this on and that makes a seamless platform here for it to hold. So we got Viper here holding my optimized support and comfort build of strap. This is not a battery strap. This company is making a battery strap though. So all you do, you crank it in. See where 
it needs to be supported. And then it holds it. So if you don't have a Viper like I do, you have a very nice platform. So, you can see right here. This is for the front connection with the magnetized. What you would use is this longer one that is meant for the rear connection for a battery charging strap. So once you have this installed right here normally it would just sit right there but now it's going to go back here so let's take a look at a head strap that does have a battery back and give me one moment and I'll grab the other one all right guys so here we have the Abaca charging strap. It's the closest currently available to the official Oculus Elite strap. This does have more of a TPU material on the back with a rubber coating compared to the silicone on the Sorking strap. This is the main reason I love this strap is because it's all one piece, rear support plus top strap. Well, things have come away since those days. Did not mean to rhyme, but it just happened. This does work with this. For being able to support it. As you can see, got your point right there. Let's go ahead and disassemble this. I'm going to plug this in so you guys can see the lights and stuff. Be right back. Okay guys, we're back. Here we have the Abaca installed, and you can see right here is where you plug it in at. Just do it that way. Make things easier instead of harder. All right. And there it's plugged in. You can see it changed to charging now, which these will just change to blue whenever it's fully charged. It's not quite fully charged. Be right back and I'll show you the other one. And then we'll wrap this up. Okay. Alright guys. Let's go ahead and get this one built. And this being the KK Cobb VR. Love this head strap because it has these little clips to guide you, and then you just slide it back if you're not already. It's very secure, also has a great hinge on it. And this is a stable, stable, heavy duty strap. 
All right, let's go ahead, pop in our battery. And let's pop in the new K2 KKCOB VR fan facial cover. I've made some slight modifications to. There's a different way of you have to approach putting this in compared to a regular facial interface. You see these teeth right here have to go inside the area where that slot is. So you want to go top to bottom on it. You can see what I've modified here is this is the cotton cover it normally comes with. Feels great. Very plush. Very soft. But for... I don't prefer for fitness purposes to have a style of cover that absorbs. I would rather have something that I can wipe down. And that's what this is. I took the only useful things out of a Bobo VR, which is the Halo Pad from the N2 Pro. And combined that with the VR Cover XG, which is the Hybrid Gel foam onto their actual cover here and yeah this is definitely a beast of a strap but it does one thing that nobody else seems to get the idea of it being a smart thing to do which is put your battery input on the top so now it's charging and personally I don't use a top strap with this even though unlike the Boba VR M2 and M1 Pro this actually has a mechanical connection for a top strap. Now, if I wanted to use one, you're right back and I'll show you what I do. Okay, guys. This is my go-to. Ice Harvest did this out of my original Oculus strap for the Quest 2. Why? Because it's wide enough. It's soft. And it resists quite a bit of staining and damage because it's very durable. I mean, but if I'm not using this along with the VR power to make this over 15,000 milliamp per hour, which lasts for over literally close to 12 hours of battery life. I would use this. It is a banded nylon, similar to the same thing of what a backpack strap would be, that has had some Velcro put on it from a head strap that was not worth even reviewing because it broke trying to get it put together. But this strap made it worthwhile. It's got a little bit of elastic in it. Here's the reason I would use that. And then even you, if you're a fan of Beat Saber, you got your red and blue on there. So it's not like 
you have to use a top strap on this. But, as you can see, this is the entire width of that slot on the back. But look how high this connection point is on the K2. This literally removes most of the pressure from your face. Because of this high point, mechanical connection, the strap's not going anywhere. got a little bit of give to it because like I said it is elastic so right now the strap is very front heavy if I put that VR power 2 on the back of it it makes it balanced It's on there. Looks great. The only thing that make this better is if this top strap was white. To match everything else. The top strap that they include with the KK Cobb VR K2 or the Q2. Neither one is very robust or anything to really write home about. It's basically like a felt cloth type material that can grip for Velcro. But I want to show you guys. Why this is quickly becoming my favorite strap. If this thing had wireless charging... I mean, they could literally, if it had this kind of a pad on it for the K2, and so it is a K2 Plus or a K2 Deluxe, and they had some sort of an audio solution for their strap, like a Q2 Plus or a Q2 Deluxe with larger battery, because this is only two uh, 2600 milliamp per hour uh 18650 cells. You got one in the bottom, one in the top. But, yeah, this is robust. All that weight, and I'm holding it by the back, and it's barely coming down. Try and do that with a Bobo VR product at all. You're not going to be able to. Plus, the strap is a lot bigger overall for fitting larger sized heads like mine. Oh, love it. People misunderstand this product and they take it for face value of what people say that it is because they've been conditioned by companies like Bobo VR which make products not for everyone but for a large majority but they exclude the outliers like me. So that's why I will support this company over Bobo VR going forward. No matter what, because they take feedback into account and they care that the customer has a good user experience. They're not just trying to sell you something. They want it to work. I've already submitted some feedback on the products that could be used for a plus or a deluxe version. And I may see about trying to work 
like I said in the last video with other companies on making something that fits over the side connecting arms of the headset but on the outside of a head strap that affixes to the front that has not only the LCD screen like my look mod because I can't use this on here because of these clips. As you can see, the bottom clips will go in fine, but the top ones, they're kind of blocked. So if I can be able to come up with something that does not only a screen, but behind the screen has vents on the top and the bottom, and even the sides for a semiconductive front of the headset cooler, like I did with the cool mod. Using the Black Shark Mag Cooler. So it would be, you have basically like something of two of these behind the screen, and you can still have a front panel that you could have a center charge point on the top for USB C that powers everything. At 1.5 amps or 1 amp or even 2 amps if needed because this is 0.5 amps on this fan the reason this fan is even here this isn't an exhaust fan like the Bobo VR F2 this is an intake so the purpose of this is built for people with glasses it's not built to have your face stay cool it's built to keep the lenses from fogging up. It's not powerful enough to be able to have your face stay cool. If you're expecting that, you're investing in the wrong reasons. What you get this for is to not have to worry about needing a halo strap or a halo pad on the front because you got your forehead covered right here. And this is going to be your higher point of attachment for your top strap. So, the biggest boon of this product, I can already say, is it looks good together. It doesn't look gaudy, and it, it fits everyone. It doesn't just fit a majority, or the group that they want to acquire popularity with, like Boba VR does. This is not meant to turn into a rant. This was just meant to be information. So, yeah guys, uh, if you like this add-on, which is only for this piece and this cable, 10 bucks on Amazon. If you have this Nexigo Quest 2 charging stand, it's worth it. Especially if you play games that you prefer having support rather than just comfort. But normally I have this over top of these. With other elite style or support style head straps. I can't do that and I don't need to do that with this. Because it has this. But yeah, guys, uh, if you liked the video, consider giving a thumbs up. If you uh, want to know more, I will have links in the description below. If you would like to support the channel and know when I have videos going live, consider subscribing. And you can always follow me on Twitter at Zybernight to know when I have new things coming in that may be potential future content. But guys, also, we have reached... Or surpassed 500 subscribers on YouTube. So once the Twitter reaches 2,500 followers, we will commence with giveaways. So you do need to be both subscribed and following to be eligible for those. And they will range from anything of 
$25 game codes all the way up to $450 uh, accessories or items. So, just uh, thanks for your guys' support. Thanks for caring about things that I'm just trying to be, uh, help you with making an informed decision on. And also to be able to help manufacturers and vendors with feedback, which is what I've been doing for over 20 years, towards improvement and renovations and revision of products that can be made to be better used. But guys, this is Zobber Knight, your Tekken Games Crusader. Hope you guys have a good night, good day. Take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see.